your eyes for a minute Close your eyes for a second I won't change my mind Hi Posh Fam, welcome back to What's Trending This Week I missed you guys last week Yes, I know. There wasn't a lot of viral uh, news to report on. And so I was like, I'll give it a pass and make sure that I've got good content for this week. And I sure do have. First things first though, here is a photo of this cute little boy. I think the mom is doing something with the hair. And obviously the best way to keep these kids in check and not moving or running crazy when you want to make their hair, it's an African thing. Our hair is so painful. It's so painful when we make them. And so you need to literally do everything possible to get your kids like in order. And I love this idea. I wish I could steal this idea from my daughter, but no, she's too big <laughs> to fit in the box. But I might try. Anyway, I hope this gave you so much joy as it gave me when I saw the video. Kotsi, is he Insta blog ninja on Instagram? Yes. Now let's get into the trending topics for this week and guys there's a lot to talk about so i'm just going to quickly breeze right through most of the trending uh situation that i have to talk about so let's just get in i quickly want to say this now from one comic uh picture or one comic viral photo to another ridiculous viral viral photo i just saw this on nine news melbourne on on instagram and like from that picture, you could see people uh, joy riding on a, on, a, on, a, on a train. Now, I would think this usually you would see this sort of this sort of thing happens in India because I've seen a lot of videos. I'm not trying to be racist here. I've seen a lot of videos emanating coming from India with people riding on the outside of a, of a train because the the train uh, it's full and so people are just you know hopping out just to get to the destination because they need to get out, get to the destination fast. Now, when I saw this, I'm like, oh my god what is going on why are these two individuals riding a train like this is like we should not set precedence for this sort of stupidity because clearly that's what it is there is no reason behind this foolishness so with that said i'm glad we can see that and feel thank god i am not so bad <laughs> I know let's go but before we do thank you so much for my new subscribers thank you for joining and coming on board with us do not forget to like comment and share this video with your friends thank you and for my existing subscribers i love y'all love y'all posh farm as we like to call ourselves we just stay here watch like comment isn't that what it is and so with ah with that out of the way Sad to report that Megan and her husband Harry have lost their million dollar contract with Spotify and Netflix. According to a spokesperson for Megan and Harry, unfortunately, uh, Netflix and Spotify is not renewing the Arch Type podcast series for a second season. And I guess uh, Netflix also is like pulling the plug. Now, rumor has it that. Uh, they're saying this two co this couple, these two individuals are sort of lazy. They've not um, promoted or given them a lot to, to go on for the money that has been invested on them. <laughs> I don't know. But you know what? Megan and Harry will be fine. Whatever they do from here on out, they will be fine. Okay, moving on. So I think it was last week where Courtney decided to pull a Blink-182 um remake by announcing to the world not to her husband even though she did it on his concert whilst on stage with a placard saying revealing she's pregnant meanwhile her stomach is just protruding like she's already six months far gone <laughs> so we all know her husband knows that she's pregnant okay but i guess they needed a, a way to tell us that she's pregnant and what a way to do it in his concert mimicking a video from the group from the band and yeah congratulations to Courtney and Travis Baca I can't wait to see the bundle of joy you guys procreate and I'm thinking in my head will the baby come out with tattoos and no I'm like don't be silly Daisy like it's it now <laughs> well seriously Courtney 
Good on you. Um, yeah, all the best. Because I know fully, was this last year where they had a health scare? Uh, yeah, in the media, I think so. And so for, for them to come out and bring this good news for us, we are happy for them. So, yeah. And also a sad news. I don't know if you know this um, lady, Monique Samos, from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, last year, there was a lot of rumors swelling that um, she and her husband were uh, her husband, <laughs> not husbands. Sorry, I'm not trying to throw shade. Okay, that was a slip of tongue. It was rumored that they were going on their separate ways. And she and her husband <laughs> came out on Instagram and even did a YouTube live to debunk the rumors. Now, it's safe to say that they have finally confirmed that they are now going their separate ways. They have three kids together. They've been through a lot in the ten, since the, in the 10 years of marriage that they have celebrated. It is such a sad one. And I will say this, any marriage that can survive the eight 10 year mark which is a very critical challenging time for a lot of young marriages if your marriage go exceeds this this particular period safe to say you guys are not going to divorce well well uh we can't really say that because we did see uh, basis and uh, the wife split after so many years and bill gates and melinda gates also calling splits after decades of being married together so i don't know it is such a hard one and I can actually say I do understand in depth as to the feeling of death or loss when your marriage breaks down. It is such a, yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. So I honestly, my heart goes out to um, the kids and uh, I, I you know in, in the coming days we're going to definitely be hearing a lot of um stories from this two i just hope they can settle themselves amicably out of um the scrutiny eyes of um social media and everyone else that wants to get in their business it is not our business to know the circumstances that led to the demise of their um marriage it's just for us to extend sympathy for for them because it's a hard time to to be dealing to be going through right now with that said, let us get into the other breaking story. I think it was Cheryl's word that was reporting this that um, Neo is broke. Now, Neo went split with his wife or partner or whatever uh, two years ago, if I'm not mistaken. And to now hear that he is broke is quite um, a shock. Now, I don't, well, is it a shock? You tell me. <laughs> but. I don't know. Like you, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna say. I wanna say this, and I'm not throwing any shade. If you have, if you are able to manage one dollar and make five hundred dollars out of one dollar, you are a good money manager. And when you come to money, when you come into money you will still be able to manage money well. And if you aren't able, vice versa, manage $1 or make something out of $1, when you hit the jackpot, you still will not know what to do. So wealth creation is actually a state of mind. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. I don't know why I said that. I just said, but I'll just leave it out there. Yes, to the breaking news that's been trending on social media. I, I, I think I, I saw this two days ago now. Was it yesterday? I'm not too sure. It's Thursday in Australia. And so I am not sure what this means for this particular story. Now, Titanic is being replicated in our very own eyes. All right. We all know the Titanic sank was in the 1949, if I'm not mistaken, or 19. But we did get a visual thanks to the movie Titanic, played by Leonardo DiCaprio and that other British lady. You know, Jack and Rose. That's what we know them as. Now, this ship sunk whatever hundred years plus ago, and we humans, we are still fascinated by the story emanating from this. Uh, uh, beautiful uh, titanic uh, uh, ship that took his first voyage a voyage excuse my pronunciation and 
met its demise. I think about 800 people so out of the two plus thousand people that were on that vo voyage uh, survived the 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 sink or the, the the crash or the ship wreck. So when I saw the news about a submarine en route to find out the wreckage, en route to the wreckage of the original Titanic. Because this particular submarine is called the Submarine Titanic. I don't know. The company behind this particular tourist, whatever, Ocean Gate or something. It's, I'm going to pop it here so you can see. So five billionaires, five rich people who have got so much money to spare are now missing. And with 50 hours of oxygen left, it's safe to say it's crunch time. Now, I don't know why and how Elon Musk's name is now involved in this mess. Like people are blaming Elon Musk. Why? I don't understand what's going on. So amongst the people on this particular submarine tourist voyage, voyage is a billionaire, an Indian billionaire or something and the CEO of a company and the son as well. It's like there's a lot of rich people because guess what? A trip, a, a trip on this submarine set one of these people back close to $400,000. Like to go on this voyage of a lifetime, you spent, you had to spend in some ridiculous cha-ching. And now, disaster. I hope they can be found because we're also, I can also confirm that CBS and most of all the other news that I've, you know, liaised with are confirming that the Canadian authorities who are also part of the search and rescue efforts for this particular uh, missing submarine, Titanic submarine trip, whatever, could hear noises, banging noises around the site where um, it appears the, the submarine went missing. So, which means that the people are supposedly still alive and banging and drawing attention to their location. And I hope that we, the authorities, whoever is in charge of the search and rescue, all the equipment that are being deployed for this rescue effort can, as a matter of urgency, get to those people as, as quickly as they can. Please, we, I, I, I would not want to hear a sub story from this particular incident. It just it was just a sad one that I was like I needed to share it I needed to just talk about it and show you know um, a deep sense of um, sadness about this event. It's developing. It's breaking news worldwide, and so I felt like trending. Obviously, this is viral viral worthy and it's trending. So say a prayer for this five um, tourists who are on somewhere somewhere on the waters close to the original titanic uh, wreckage we need them safe we need them rescued safe and we need them rescued safe and alive i just honestly like so i'm gonna end my viral video with this particular uh, story and i probably would give you update on my next viral story as to the outcome from the search and, and hopefully rescue effort that the canadian as well as the american government ha are, are now involved in so that's it guys there was a lot to talk about but i felt like this this particular viral uh, uh, news deserved you know your deserved your attention and until next time guys be safe and take care mm -hmm.